Tonight's story is about an artist and her daughter and her community. It's a dark comedy. I saw Zoe Comes Home uh, when it was produced upstate in Narrowsburg, New York by the Delaware Valley Arts Alliance at the Tunston Theater. It was an exciting production where I thought this is a perfect example of what regional theater can be. A local theater with a community of artists that participated in the entire thing. The set was all decorated by local artists, the uh, community of uh, the community theater actors. And it's about art thriving in places away from New York and the reception or not of one's art. It questions identity of artists, how long and how vital we are as artists and uh, our contribution to the world. Again, it's a dark comedy, Zoe Comes Home, and I really hope you enjoy it as much as I did. Ladies and gentlemen, Zoe Comes Home. <laughs> It explains a lot, but you said to text you. It... I know, I know I did. 
So what was I supposed to do? Okay, okay, can we just go now? No, I won't go! I've got a license in here somewhere I can drive! Mother, I took your driver's license. Oh, I lent it to you! I got another one! <laughs> this one is from 1987. It still works! No, it doesn't! Why not? Why not? I can drive! I can still drive, Zoe! Fred, I'm gonna need you to take us to our house. I'll worry about the car later. Like I said, I can't take it. What happened? She made a mess. Oh, no, he's lying! Mother, did you bring your stuff into his car? We talked about finding things and bringing them home. Not oh. that kind of mess. The other kind. He kept me waiting too long. Ma! Zoe, I had to hose it down, and I had customers complaining for weeks. I can't take the chance again. I came because you said you needed a ride. OK? <coughs> I'll take you. I won't take her. Not after the mess. Well, Mother, we have an impasse. Fred won't take you. You can't drive. You won't let me drive. Shall we walk? You drive too fast. I will go the speed limit, I promise. You can watch the speedometer. What is it going to be, ladies? I can pick somebody up in five minutes. You can tell me how to drive. <laughs> I'm sorry, Fred. I will make it up to you. Thank you for coming. Forget it. I don't know how she is, but Zoe, eventually? No, eventually. We will talk about it, okay, this weekend. Okay, sometime this weekend. Yes. I gotta go. Yeah, besides, I'll need the break. All right, Millie's making a pot roast or something. Oh, great. So just I'll bring come the salad. Over, right? Okay, okay. All right, Mom. Let's, uh, let's take you home, huh? Can't. What, Mom? What can't you do? I can't. I can't. Have you I talked can't. to Dr. Owen? Can't. Can't. You can't, can't talk to can't. Dr. Owen. I can't. Why? I can't. I know what you're going to say. What am I going to say? You're going to tell me that I have to go. Well, I can't. I won't do it. Well, they're going to make you if you keep this up. Who? Freddy? I'd like to see him try. No, Dr. Owen. He said you, we, eventually are going to have to prepare for that. You! You have to prepare for that! Me? I can take care of myself! That's the problem, Mom. I've got my work to do. What work do you do? Work! My work! I, I take care of the grave sites. I, I look after everything there. Your father's lying there, too. I, I go and I, I visit him and I take care of his headstone and I bring him flowers and things. And, and Zoe, I can take care of you, too. You're looking a little tired there. Yeah, you know what? I, oh, it's, it's bright now. Zoe, I think we should go home and rest and um, oh, we could, you know, put the blinds down. I can make a really calm environment, Zoe, you know. We'll rest. Yes, Mom. We're home, okay? okay? See? And we'll talk about things eventually. All right, but not now. Okay? okay? Not okay. now. Okay. Okay. Zoe. Yes, Mother. Zoe. Yes. Zoe. Yes. <laughs> Welcome home.
Hey's out. Oh, hey, thanks for bringing over some food. Yeah, well, we had extra. I just couldn't leave. I mean, she was all keyed up. Yeah, we know how she gets. You're chattering away, and then she just drops off like falling off a cliff. <laughs> Asleep and snoring. Look, I'm sorry she messed up your car. Okay, I'm sure it was an accident. <coughs> I'm not. Her digestion is not what it used to be. Yeah, look, it's like this. She... Well, if you're not driving her, I have been paying you, so... To watch her. We do. We do. I'm over here more times than I can count. Freddy, my light's out. Freddy, the toilet's... Toilet's clogged. You can imagine. Well, how did she even get the car keys? I thought we took them all. You've seen the place. She probably had a set squirreled away somewhere. She's not driving. Well, what got into her head today? You, probably. Me? Yeah. She knew you were coming. And she got it in her head that she was going to go get you. Well. That's what I think. Maybe, but she seems upset and agitated and more than usual. Well, she has been talking crazy all week. She's driving us nuts. She's searching through her boxes. She's looking for things. She found a box of paper dolls with all the heads cut off. Heads! <laughs> what? We call them heads. It was the weirdest shit I ever saw. We thought it was a game we played. You played with headless paper dolls? Well, they weren't headless for long. Right? We didn't have money to go shopping or buy pretty clothes, but Mother had all of these sewing catalogs filled with models wearing party dresses and pantsuits. We would spend hours looking through them. You go shopping, and then you cut the outfit out, and then you pick the head that you really liked, you know, perfect hair, pretty face, and then you take the head onto the outfit, and voila! It was a perfect paper doll. And then we'd go out to lunch and the movies. And Mother always wanted to go to the art gallery. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds freaky to me. It's uh, like a bunch of Frankenstein dolls. Well, Mother created the game. <clears throat> One of the only games that we played together. She could be very inventive at times, always thought outside the box. <laughs> she spent a lot of time outside the box, all right. I'm just trying to keep her out of a box. Uh, maybe she needs one. I'm gonna ignore that. Like you ignore everything else? How could I possibly ignore this? Run away like you always do? Is that what you think, that I run away? Yeah, that's what I know. The fancy prep school? Uh, that school saved my life. The Ivy League College? I worked my ass off. It made me what I am. Yeah, well some of us work too. Some of us work all day, all night at hard physical labor. And then we come home and we don't call for takeout in a movie. We clean the gutters. We fix our drains. And then when we're done, we go to the batty old aunt's house and we clean her gutters. It takes a lot to keep this house going and she just keeps piling shit in there. Well, her only daughter is off in the city, just making well, making a life for myself? One that I can't <coughs> have here, okay? What is wrong with that? I would be like her if I was still here. But you're not. I am. Fred, if you don't want to do this... It's not that. I have to. I promised. Well, I absolve you of that. <laughs> not you and not her. I promised my... Fuck it, forget it. Forget I said anything, okay? I gotta go, Millie's waiting in here. You know, I was right? only 12, okay? Yeah, but you're not 12 now. My father sent me away. It was not right for me to be here with her, not like that. I wanted a mom who came to soccer practice and cheered me on like your mom did. Okay, instead I got one who stayed in darkened rooms shivering on the bed. Leaving was the best thing that ever happened to me. That was then, right? I'm talking about now. I cannot come back, not to stay. She 
can't live like this. She's fiercely independent. Fierce, yeah. Independent, I don't think so. I think she can manage a little bit longer, okay? No one said that she can't manage on her own. Then why did they take her license? She's a danger driving. Her brain just doesn't react fast enough. It reacts fast enough to me. She chews me out the minute she sees me. Come on. Even when we were kids, she was a bad driver. You remember? It was your mom that always took us to the pool and other places. Yeah? Your mom was so sweet. You know, she took such good care of dad when he was sick, and then mom visited every day. I'm still so sorry she's gone. She really kept the family going, but she would not like this. And plus, a home would take resources, right? Resources we don't have. She has some. Not nearly enough. She's a caretaker in a cemetery. That's a couple hundred a month. And then there's dad's social security and disability, another couple hundred. I've looked at it all. All right, her finances. This house. Grandpa's house. It's got bones. Yeah, it's next to a cemetery. Hide it! <laughs> Put up a fence or trees or something. <laughs> Sell it. She so, wants to stay. She wants to stay, but she can't live like this. It's like, God. She won't leave without a fight. What about the doctor? They say that she's depressed with anxiety. Okay, and she doesn't, he doesn't think that she's a danger to herself, and he thinks that she can still stay in the house, and I'm inclined to agree, as long as she can. Who's gonna watch her, though? You? No, 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 I'm, I'm on this huge design project. It's the biggest of my career. Save it, Zoe. I'm busy, too, okay? I'm trying to set up my own Uber franchise, and I'm not gonna answer to anybody, and I'm gonna be my own boss. Okay, okay. I'm not saying you, okay? I'm saying a professional, a caregiver <coughs> from an agency. I'm looking at her Medicare, and there might be a way. I just need a little bit of time to arrange things. And then there's her work, right? Maybe I can sell some. Look, some of the stuff has got value. But if it doesn't get out of there, it's gonna be ruined. The real value is staring you in the face. Sell it. Sell it all. Sell it. We have, the neighborhood is changing. People are coming I up just here. Need a what little, do you want? I just need a little bit of time, okay? I can work from here a few days a week, but I still need to go into the city for meetings. Well, like I said, I'm booked. Hey, I will hire someone, a, a babysitter, an aide, something, all right? Just don't report her. Uh, don't make me send her away. Not yet. Against my better judgment, I'll say yes, but consider yourself warned. Thank you, Fred. Bless you. Zoe, that's the trouble with you. What? I asked you what you want, right? You're supposed to ask me what I want in return, right? Those are the rules. Or did they not teach you that in the fancy prep schools? What do you want? The rugs. I want Grandpa's rugs. Grandpa's rugs? Yes. Where are they? They're in there, under all the shit. They're Persian, and if somebody doesn't get them out of there, they're gonna be ruined. Well, you saw how she reacts to the very mention of taking out the recyclable, so. This is the deal, Zoe. Well, where are they? Living room, dining room, and the runner in the hallway. I love that one. <laughs> He's my grandfather, too. Just that? Your choice, Zoe. I'll get them for you. You can count on it. Like this anymore. 
more. Precious. No more of those art galleries there now. Just those fancy designer stores. <coughs> <coughs> She does it at times, just nods off. She needs rest. 
Maybe it can wait. Is it something I can help you with? Well, it's just that um, we invested quite a bit of money in our property. I can see that. Yeah, landscaping too, nice flowering trees. It's lovely. Mm. And well, uh, we moved in, and we're here full time. Oh, nice. You work from home. Yeah, I can work anywhere. My office is there, looking down on this. 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 What is this? It's mine! It's, it's mine! Uh, it's my work! It's all right, it's mother. Mine. It's mine! It's all right, it's all right. Work? What kind of work is this? Well, what kind of work are you in, Mr. Joffrey. Randall Joffrey. What kind of work are you in, Mr. Joffrey? He's something of a big shot! So the thing is this. This? Mm -hmm. This is junk. And it's sitting out here, right out here, where everyone can see it. He has a job! Uh, my friends, my clients. They tried to pee on my work, too, if I'd let it, but I hadn't let it. So what is this, anyway? It looks and smells like a junkyard. I, I chased that dog away. It was on my property. You should keep your dog off my property. The smell probably attracted her. Slow down. Okay, a dog? You have a dog and it comes onto her property? Only once before we set up the electric fence. It won't happen again. I'm a responsible property owner. And I assure you, so are we. So what can we do for you, Mr. Joffrey? You can clear this junk off your property. It's not junk! It's my work! I have a right to know my work! What kind of work is that? Is it true, Mother? Is this your work? I, I work! Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Joffrey, but she says it's her work. I'm standing right here. I heard what she said. This is not work. It's junk. Well, maybe you don't understand what she means. Oh, I understand that this is junk. Tell him, Zoe. Tell him, tell him it's my work! If you let me explain, I can tell I look at this every day. The rain, the snow, it's a mess. It's art, and it's my art, it's my work. It's crap. Your dog makes crap when they try to crap on my work. <laughs> Karma is a good girl. It won't happen again. It won't happen again, <laughs> because I have a gun. Uh, a gun? She has a gun? She doesn't have a gun. I do, and I will shoot that hound dog. Piggy is in if you dare. I'll have you sent away so fast. Okay, okay, there is no gun. There's no gun. I've never seen one. Mom, why don't you go inside and let me talk to your neighbor? Tell him, Zoe, tell him! If you want to stay, you're going to have to calm down. I'd rather sit in my own piss! <laughs> I am so sorry. Sorry? You're sorry? Look, Mr. Jeffrey, I know that- Jeffrey! Hey, we got off on the wrong foot, right? We just met. Right. Hey, maybe we can go out for a cup of coffee and discuss this. She seems unbalanced. <laughs> I'm concerned. And she said she has a gun. She doesn't have a gun. Okay? I've never seen one. It's, it's Pennsylvania. People do have them. But I, I can assure you she doesn't. But I will check. <laughs> She's your mother. I can't believe it. Well... She's not your typical mother, but I assure you, Mr. Joffrey, she's harmless. Okay, she has her issues, but they're under control. She doesn't seem under control to me. Look! Look, look at this! Cleveland Museum! 1998 exhibition, sculptures by Gloria Van Auken! Oh, oh, and DC! National Museum of Women in the Arts group show! 2002, featuring sculptures by Gloria Van Auken. <laughs> what is this? You are this Gloria Van Auken? It's true, Mr. Joffrey. It's her. This is my mother, the sculptor, Gloria Van Auken. 
And if she says this is her work, I have to support her. <laughs> my work, my work. Oh, I don't believe it. Well, you should be proud. <laughs> you have a well-known artist living next door. You can tell your friends. Hmm, whoa, well, uh, she hasn't shown since uh, 2002. Oh, so you knew her work? Yes, I know her work. Mm. Worthless junk. Total garbage. I said it then and I say it now. Your house is junk. You can pay it all you want, but it's crap. The termites got the bones. Mother. Oh, and what color is lavender for a house? Why don't you let me eat junk, Mr. Junk? <laughs> You're an artist, and say that? I'm a sculptor. <laughs> it's different. Go away, I have to work now. No, oh, I have to work, and it's filth. It's in my face. Mother, maybe we can uh, cover it up when you're not working. Maybe you need to move. Maybe you need to pack it in. You're a has-been. Mr. Joffrey. That is uncalled for. I am willing to listen, but you cannot come over here and throw around insults to people you do not know. Oh, I know her. Yes, I know her work. Worthless. Crap. Okay, if you can't be What saying, do you know about art? Oh, a lot more than you. Leave. Mr. Jeffrey, please. No, I'm leaving, but I'll be back with a court order to clean this place up. Look at it. It's mine. Well, Mom, maybe, uh, can you clean up a little bit, right? Those bags, for instance, they all oh, can't be a It's mine, it's mine, it's my work, it's on my property. I can do whatever I got that will claim on my property! I'll go to the town hall. Maybe we can make it less messy, like a gallery. It's <gasps> mine! Mom, Mom, we'll make it into a gallery. It's mine, it's my work, Zoe! I'll file a complaint. Oh. Okay, Mr. Joffrey, this is the first that I've ever heard of this. Mom, has he ever asked you before? Never heard him. See? So you've made us aware of the problem. Just give us a little bit of time to rectify before you go and make a complaint. We, we want to be good neighbors, really. Good fences make good neighbors. <laughs> we need a fence. <coughs> yes, Mom, Mother, you want to be a good neighbor. Goodbye, neighbor. Have a nice day! <laughs> <laughs> Just give us a little bit of time. Okay, I'm here for the whole week and I will straighten everything out. <laughs> Gloria Van Auken is my neighbor! Oh, I can't believe it. I landed next to her. Next to this. Her work. Hey, hey, hey! Maybe you should examine your own role in this. You come over here, make demands, you call her work crap. What do you expect? I expect this place to be cleaned up immediately. That's what I expect. I honestly can't believe that just happened. He says bad things about me. He did, my lord, but still. Bad things before, I thought you said after. you never met him. I never met him. Oh, he says bad things. But to who? Mom, the neighbors, the grocery store people, people in town. When, mother, where? Before, before all of that, he says bad things. Oh, Zoe, oh, you were so young. You were so young. Why are you so sad, Mommy? Why well, I've never seen you so sad, Zoe. Oh, God, it's so bright. I think we should... Let's go inside. Yes, I think we should go inside and rest and we'll put the blinds down. Okay, Mom. Okay? Okay. And have a little, a little rest, okay? Hello. What? I said hello, Aunt Gloria. Oh. How are you doing? Good fences make good neighbors. Good family, too. Yes. <laughs> fences. Got to kill the fence. What the hell was that about? You're about 20 minutes too late. Yeah, like I said, I had a customer. Not what I meant. All right, I'm here now. 
I got the car around back and we can get some of this stuff to the dump. Okay, I have the kitchen stuff around the side, but we're gonna have to clear some of this stuff out too. I mean, there's a couple of bags and some a boxes. Couple of, and... A couple of? This place is a mess. I'm surprised the town hasn't been here with the uh, citation. Don't start to. Have they been here? No, the neighbor, Mr. Joffrey, he complained. Says he looks down at it all day and it's an eyesore. Oh, it is. I offered to clear some stuff out. Okay, well, I don't have much time. Let's get started. Look, she says that it's her work. Her work? <laughs>
Let me look at it. No, Millie, you'll look at it. No, no. Right there, no, 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 no. I don't need this, Zoe. I don't need this. I don't need your help. No. I don't need your help. But she, she does. You have a problem. You have a big problem. You got to find a place. You got to get her somewhere. If you don't report her as a danger to herself and others, I will! Uh, well, Mom, now we have a problem. I did. 
You're the one who said she didn't have a gun. And you're the one that said terrible things about her. I'm going to the police, and I'm filing a complaint. Oh. It was a kid's BB gun. The dog was on her property. That woman is a menace to the community and the art world. Wait a minute. Wait just a damn minute. It's words like those that started this whole thing in the first place. You. Me. Yes. You. You think I'd harm my own dog? You said terrible things about her. You and your damn... What? When? You just did. You called her a bad artist. Oh, she's no artist. A sculptor. Whatever! Look what she did. You did worse. You stole her sandwich. Stole! You think I'd steal this junk she calls work? You stole her sanity. And you robbed me, too. Oh, now I robbed you. And I thought you were the sane one around here. I'm talking about this. 2002, Gloria Van Auken, The Emperor Has No Clues, Close, reviewed by Randall Joffrey, art critic. What the hell does that have to do with anything? Read it. I know what I wrote. Yes, I was an art critic once, but not now. But I stand by you, what? You, the biggest art critic in the world at the time, wrote that review and it traumatized her. I wrote a lot of reviews. People didn't always agree, especially the artists. I owe the truth to my collectors. Crabgrass? That's truth? I don't remember specifically. You called her work crabgrass. Like I said, I don't remember. You wrote, stay out of the big leagues, little lady. What exactly did you mean by little lady? In polite society. This is anything but polite. You don't like her work, fine. Tell us a reason. It's too big, not big enough. Trivial themes. But crabgrass, that is over the line. Comes with the territory. You're gonna be in the big leagues, you gotta buck up and take it like, like a man? Oh, that's such bull. And that's bullying. Legal bullying. I don't know what gave you the right. Impeccable taste. <laughs> this is the man in the purple house. <laughs> Lavender! <laughs> I just wanna know one thing. Do you know my mother? I just met her yesterday. But you knew her work. Yes, I know her work. It's garbage. I said it then, I'll say it now. This is garbage! 2002. The year that they sent me away, she had a nervous breakdown and she was never the same. Do you know what it's like to grow up with a mother who is depressed? A recluse withdrawn from the world? God damn it, you broke her will. You broke her will to live and her will to love. You not only stole her art away from her, but you stole her away from me. Your mother's mental illness has nothing to do with me. But her actions this evening do. I'm going to the police. You do that. And you better keep your dog off of our property. And you better find her. Oh. Disgusting, vile, I mean, garbage. How could someone even write something like that? I thought I said crazy shit about it. Fred, you don't understand. Critics are very powerful. A, a review like that could ruin one's career. Yeah, a bad Uber review will ruin the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. It's uh, just like that. Mm -hmm. Multiply it by about two million, Fred. It's the fucking New York Times, for God's sake! It's the New York Times! You ever heard of it? It's a fucking big deal! It's the New York fucking no, Times! No, Zoe, I'm sorry! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, we didn't know. We didn't know. The family... If we had known... How could we know? We were just kids. She didn't show me the reviews, especially not that one. It wasn't a social media to bl blow it all out there. We thought she just gave it up and retired and had a family like, like my mom did, like everybody. She didn't tell me. But it was like one day she just stopped. She stopped caring about everything, about me. You know, first I thought it was me, that I did something and they sent me away. 
then I blamed her. I blamed her because she didn't come. She didn't come for months. And when I was home, she was in bed, shades drawn. So then I stopped caring about her. God, she kept it a secret. She kept it inside all those years. No wonder she's crazy. All right, you said that, not me. <laughs> Do you want me to go up find her? No, I'll find her. Are you sure? It looks like it's gonna rain. I think I know where she is. All right, well, I better go to the police before he does and represent the family, all right? Thanks, Brad. to be 
was, I, I loved that school. But Dad took me there. Yes, I, Dad I, I took you. I don't understand. Dad took you. I, I couldn't bear it. I, I couldn't bear anything. I worked for years on this thing, this <coughs> impossible, incredible thing. And like that, it was over. Everything that I had put into that show, and it was gone. And I felt ashamed, and I felt worthless, and maybe that man called my work garbage. <laughs> and maybe I was garbage. But there was one thing that wasn't garbage. One thing that I had to get right. And that was you. And, and, and there it was, staring out to me like a beacon, like a message in the New York Times on the very same page as those bad words. A picture of a beautiful place where they taught art and classics, heritage school for girls. I showed your dad and we agreed to let you go there. You didn't visit for months. I was exhausted. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I, I didn't know what to say. And friends pulled away from me. They pulled away from me. But you, you were safe. You were safe. It was, uh, <clears throat> safe. It was just me and Dad for a really long time, Mom. And I, I wondered what happened, where, where you were. I was confused, and it confused you to see me like that. Uh, like, oh, this, oh. You were upset. Why are you sad, Mommy? Why are you sad? I didn't have the words and I tried to explain. I needed to rest my brain and stay quiet. And then, and then it hit me. And, and, and then it spoke to me and I came out here, out here at night and I worked while your father was asleep. I never showed anybody. I hid out here. But why out here? Why not with your collection? Oh, I was afraid that you'd reject it, that you'd call it worthless garbage. I was afraid that you'd laugh at me too. But here it is. And we hid it out here, and, and you didn't even know. And now, now it can speak to you for me. Yes, yes. Mm. Mm. It is speaking to me, Mom. And I feel it right here. It's beautiful. And I love it, and I will cherish it. But mom, I disagree. This is not your last piece. Oh. I can't. I it can't work. It's gone. No. It's gone. No, mom, it's not gone. It's, it's gone. right here. I, this, no. this is your work. I, I don't know what it is, if it's something going on inside your head or how you feel, but this is it. It's disrupting. It's it's present. You own it. It's yours. And it's speaking to you loud and clear. Is it? <laughs> yes. 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 It most certainly is. Oh, Mom, I, I'm sorry. I, I should have listened. Well, well, Zoe, we can we we can do it now. Uh, now we can create now. Like when you were little, okay. remember we used to paint and, 
and, and sculpt out of clay. And we cut the heads off of paper dolls. <laughs> yes, you remember. Yes, of course, of course. We created so many things. Oh, so there's so much you haven't seen here. Oh, you have to see some fairly special, special pieces. Let's clear this up. Yeah, clear it up. That's a great idea. Oh, my God, where's the bread when you need them?
You're doing fine. You're doing fine. It's it's a nice it's a nice place and it's a safe place and she's gonna be okay. What about my collection? Are you sure that I can't take them with me? I want to visit them. No, mom. No, but remember we took pictures of them? And anytime you do want to visit, you just go on your phone and look at your pictures. That's right, Aunt Gloria. I got them too in my phone. And so I can show my clients. My Aunt Gloria, the world famous sculptor. <laughs> Let me take this to the car. Oh. Thank you, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> It'll never be the same. No, Mom. Nope. It's never going to be the same. And maybe things shouldn't be the same. You know, things got pretty tough there for a while, but we will go forth together. This is the first step. Yeah, and, and you're going to come and visit. Of course. Besides, we've got some work to do. Work? What work? Your gallery. Remember, I'm going to need your help to curate. And in a few months, I'll set it up in my office and invite my clients. I think they'll really like them. They're big, they're bold, and they make a statement. Oh, not like me. I kept it all inside. <laughs> nope, Mom, you, you put it all out there. And even when there was nothing left, there still was something there waiting for you. Hey, they are the best part of you. No, you're the best part of me. Oh, oh Zoe, why? Why are you doing this for me after everything I've done? After all the times I wasn't there for you? Because you are important <laughs> to me and the world, just as you are. Oh, after all, where would we be without mothers? <laughs> you said I should do that. What's that, Mom? Affirmations. <laughs> I think I'll give it a go. <laughs> Works for me. All right. <laughs> Where would we be without mothers? More than that. More than that. Okay. Mothers are creators. Mothers are creators. Where would we be without creators? creators? I'm ready now. I'm ready to go forth. <laughs> Let's go. I don't know if Freddie knows where to put my luggage. I think he does not. I'm not sure. <laughs> I might have put it in the wrong car. <laughs>
Isabel. <laughs>